Hi guys. So, if you were brought to my attention that some XC90s, at least in the UK, are having problems with noisy cabins, but this seems to be a very specific problem. It, it seems to only concern cars equipped with Continental Conti Sport 5 tires and only on the M25 and only in a specific M20, a piece of the M25 where they have really bad pavement. But I thought I would make a video showing you guys the noise levels, how quiet the cabin is because I think this is a really quiet car and it's no more noisy than the Mercedes GLE or the BMW X5, I think. But let's find out. Let's measure the sound levels. So I'm currently doing 85 kilometers an hour and I'll put that in miles below and I have this app, I'll just show you guys. It's called Sound Meter um, here on my phone. It was the highest rated decibel app so let's go ahead and I'll shut up. So that should go to give us an average, and the average is 61 decibels. And the road here is, I guess the the pavement here is maybe like two years old, three years old. It's just ordinary worn pavement. So it seems like we lost some traffic here, and now we're doing 100 kilometers an hour. And let's reset the app. Let's see what it shows. So that was 100 kilometers an hour, and the average is 64 decibels. Now we're lowering the speed to 90 kilometers an hour, and uh, let's check it out again. And that was 61 decibels again, so. 80 and 90, no 85 and 90 is pretty much the same, 61 decibels, and then when you jump up to 100 kilometers an hour, it gets more noisy, naturally. A disclaimer here is my car is equipped with 275 millimeter wide tires, which are really wide tires. Only the BMW X5 has wider tires, and that's only in the rear. And this car is also equipped with the Michelin Latitude Sport 3 tires, which are really grippy tires. They're basically Michelin Pilot uh, Super Sports just for SUVs. They're really grip grippy, and more grippy tires will, of course, be more noisy. So we just hit the motorway stretch here, and I'm just going to do 100 kilometers an hour again just to get a second reading. And it actually dropped to 63 decibels. That shows you that, that the pavement really does dictate the noise levels. And But we're getting a really nice and average reading here. Let's bump the speed up to 110 kilometers an hour and uh, let's see what, what, it, what it says. So the average is 67, which is louder than I've actually measured before at 110 kilometers an hour. But let's put it into the left lane because the right lane is much more worn due to more traffic. Just for fun, let's see what we get out of the readings here. So previously we had 67 and dropped to 65 decibels in the left lane due to less worn pavement. So that's quite interesting. Let's bump the speed up to 120 now. Still in the left lane because there is traffic up ahead here in the right lane. So go ahead and hit the reset button. So 
so still 65 decibels that reading but what I can hear now is that the the tire noise is very dependent on the tarmac of course that's natural and this tarmac here is on the, in the left lane is naturally less worn than in the right lane but what I hear at 120 is more whistle or just a faint 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 sound from the, the wing mirrors that that, that I can hear the heat, hear the wind uh, bouncing off. So let's hit it up to 130 kilometers again. Let's see what the readings are. There we go, 130. Yeah, so 66 decibels, but we did pass that truck that was quite noisy. Let's try that again just one more time, 130 kilometers an hour. So 67 decibels, actually it went up, which is quite quite interesting. But that shows you again just how how sensitive tires are to pavement. But I'm doing 130 kilometers an hour and I don't have to I don't have to raise my voice. I do raise my voice just just to be I'm, I'm programmed. So there you have it guys. That was the sound test at different speeds here in the 2016 Volvo XC90. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and for more car content, please subscribe. So, see you guys later and goodbye.